Okay, so these problems um, are graphing problems. So we're going to be looking at these in terms of identifying from each of these what the amplitude is, what the period is, what the phase shift is, and what the vertical shift is because they are all related to this um, equation. And then we're going to just graph, do a quick rough sketch graph of it based on that information. So looking at this problem here, um, if A is equal to 2, um, that means that the amplitude is going to be equal to 2. So that's the absolute value of A. Um, if B is equal to 3, then our period is going to be equal to 2 pi over 3. Um, our phase shift um, is related to this number here. It's x minus pi over 6. So phase shift is pi over 6 to the right. Vertical shift, this plus 5, means that this is moving 5 units up. That was the d value. So 5 up starts with d. So up at 5 here, that is our vertical shift. Um, so that's your axis. Um, this is your central axis. If amplitude is 2, then we know to the maximum value is going to be, um, or minimum, it's going to be 2 units. And then our minimum is going to be 2 units down, which is 3. Um, our phase shift is pi over 6 to the right, so that means this is going to start at pi over 6. Um, and then the full period, um, again, we know this is a sine function, so it's starting here. It's going to hit the maximum. Ignore that line. These mystery lines keep just showing up. Go away. Goes back to the central axis. Hits the minimum and goes to the central axis. So we know one full revolution is going to be 2 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3 is going to end this at 5 pi over 6. Now, how did I know this? So if this is 5, sorry, if this is, sorry, doo -doo 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 -doo, 5 pi over 6 minus pi over 6 is 4 pi over 3, sorry, 4 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. That's how I got that. So this is the drawing of it, and this is all you have to do. Magic, ta-da! So just find these intervals in between here. So this first interval, um, halfway between the two of them, is going to be pi over 2. Just um, We know from here to here it has to be half 2 pi over 3, and then half of that amount is going to be pi over 3. And this is, again, 2 pi over 3. Next one. Let's see, make sure we answered all the questions. They said sketch the graph marking the x's and y-axis appropriately, which we did. B. So for this equation here, the amplitude is going to be equal to the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. We're paying attention here to the fact that, again, our lovely magic line that keeps showing up. Let's do that again. The amplitude is fine, 5. We're paying attention to this being um, negative. So cosine is going to start with its um, minimum at um, at our uh, at negative one here, where the uh, phase shift is. Period. Is um, two pi divided by um, b, which is pi, which is two. So period is 2. Phase shift is x plus 1, so that means it's 1 unit uh, left. And there is um, no vertical translation. Um, in terms of a reflection, we have an x-axis reflection. So if it asks you to describe the reflection, you describe it that way. Um, it's the way to remember that it's starting at minimum instead of maximum. Um, okay, so we didn't have uh, a d value other than zero, so that's going to put our d at zero. 
Um, our phase shift is 1 to the left, so this is going to start over here at negative 1. It's going to have a period of 2. This is 1 and 1. So if you break that in half, this is negative 1 half. This is positive 1 half. Um, if the amplitude is 5, this is going to go up to positive 5 and down to negative 5. And again, we know our cosine is starting at the minimum. Up and back down. So our graph is going to look like like this. And this is one period of it. And you can obviously, if it's asking for more than one period, you keep going in this direction or keep going in this direction. Finally, letter C. Um, in the form we're looking at right now, we need to do some factoring out because we're not going to be able to figure out what B is. So this is H of X equals sine of 4, that's B, times X minus pi over b, which is pi over 4. What's a minus? Minus 2. So we need this in this form in order to find what we need. So our amplitude is going to be equal to 1. Our period is 2 pi over 4, because our period, uh, b is 4, 2 pi over b, which is pi over 2. Um, it's asking for the uh, phase shift. Our phase shift is pi over 4. Lovely mystery line again. Make that go away. Pi over 4 to the, um, it's x minus, so it's going to the right. And vertical shift is 2 units down. So we're going to start with that 2 units down. So we're going to start here. We're going to have a d value, da -da 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 -da, going across, of negative 2. Um, since we're at pi over 4 to the right, we know that this is going to start at pi over 4. The period is um, the period is actually equal to pi over 2. So you have to do um, pi over 4 plus pi over 2 which is pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4, or that will end at 3 pi over 4. So this ends at 3 pi over 4. And again, you have to split these into pieces. This is going to be 3 pi over 8, um, pi over 2, and 5 pi over 8. Okay, we know that this is a sine function. Um, it's going to start at our central axis here. So I'm going to do this in blue. It's going to start at pi over 4 at the central axis. Amplitude is 1, so it's just going to go up uh, 1 unit, back, down 1 unit, and back. So this is at negative 1, and the minimum is down here at negative 3. So this is what one period looks like. And that's it. If you want another period, just go in the other direction.